Okay, uh, just a moment, please. <laughs> Sorry, I need to change the setting. Um, ah, sorry, I need to come back to the meeting. Okay. Uh, I'm so sorry. I had a tiny issue with uh, Zoom connection. So, okay, uh, I think now I can share my slide. Okay. Yeah. Can you see my slide now? Yes. Um, okay, now it's full good. screen. Mm -hmm. okay, good. Okay. So, uh, so uh, next, the second part of the uh, Jet uh, Hands On session is focusing on. Uh, medium excitation uh, part, and then uh, before uh, before doing actual simulation, I uh, I think we I should uh, briefly explain uh, what we are going to do in this uh, second session. Okay. Okay. So uh, what we're gonna uh, do in Jetscape is so called two stage hydro. So uh, we are going to use this option in Jetscape to do uh, to simulate. Uh, hydrodynamic medium response inside of the uh, escape. So uh, let me explain what this future is. So actually, even in the first uh, part, the AMIT uh, session uh, partially include the medium response effect that is covered by uh, using the function of recoils and holes. So actually in the Jet reconstruction we have just done, uh, we take into account whole particles and liquid, and we did uh, background subtraction and we saw some uh, medium response effect. But in this section, uh, we are focusing on uh, hydro, hydrodynamic medium response. It means we have energy momentum distribution into the medium. So, uh, so uh, this is what we have actually had 
in the previous section. So for large vitality phase, uh, we had vitality order splitting with uh, with small uh, medium effect uh, that we that was covered by meta module by default in Jetscape, and then low uh, low vitality phase. Uh, kinetic cell based uh, uh, energy loss modules like LBT and Martini can handle the the, the evolution of uh, part, uh, evolution of jet patterns inside of the medium. And here uh, we attach uh, two uh, modules to have uh, to extend the uh, extend the uh, jet uh, extend the applicable uh, energy scale for the jet shower evolution. So here, what we're going to have in the simulation is, first, uh, we have energy momentum deposition into the medium, but before moving on to, uh, before transferring the uh, energy and the momentum of the jet particle into the medium, actually, we need to switch the picture from particle-based picture to uh, fluid field-based picture. So for the connection between these two, uh, we need to have some uh, smearing of the energy moment, uh, energy moment of distribution in space, uh, in three D space, and, and and once we have completed the smearing, uh, and then uh, we can put those energy and momentum into the media, into the hydro. So actually, uh, the very small energy uh, at very small uh, energy scale, uh, some some portion of jet energy and momentum are transported inside of the medium in the same way as other constituents of the medium. So, uh, so we use those two modules for uh, also for jet energy, uh, jet uh, jet shower evolution. Okay. Okay. So let me explain uh, what is the setting uh, used for in this uh, section. So, uh, so the jet shower evolution actually essentially we are not uh, we do not uh, change uh, we we do not change a lot. So we we gonna use matter plus LVT with recoil and the battery separation scale is yeah, 2 GB. So here we have uh, multi-stage jet evolution, uh, evolution for uh, jet shower evolution. And then here uh, for, to make the uh, configuration simplified, so we just use P gun. It means we fix the initial energy and the momentum of the pattern, uh, initial energy of the path uh, of the, uh, of the of the parent pattern. And then uh, the collision point is fixed at the origin. Okay. And then here uh, we attach uh, colorless hazardization, but uh, actually in this uh, hands-on session, we will not see the, any effect of the hazardization. And then solstam is uh, generated by causal liquefier as uh, we, uh, we had an explanation by uh, Ishmael. And then so uh, by having Coastal liquefier, uh, essentially what we are going to do is, so if we find uh, low, momentum, low energy particle inside of the jet shower, uh, jet pattern shower, we, uh, we let them evolve inside the causal liquefier. And then in the end, we, uh, we will create, generate source time for it. And then we will deposit into the medium. And then for them, so here, so uh, also medium fluid will carry some portion of jet energy and momentum, which is deposited uh, via uh, source time generation by causal liquefier. So uh, that fluid, uh, the medium fluid is, uh, gen uh, has uh, initial condition generated by Trento in the same way as we have done in the, in the uh, we have done in the hydro part simulation. And then here, uh, we're going to uh, let hydro evolve in 2D, uh, two, two plus one dimensional space with viscous effect by using music. And then uh, we, we will have hadron from the medium in the same way as uh, we have done in the hydro session by using ISS, but actually in this section, uh, we will not see any. Uh, uh, this particleization effect, yeah, but but it's very essential if you want to do uh, some uh, some analysis, including uh, uh, so, some analysis to have a uh, jet observable, including medium response effect. Okay, so this is the uh, the basic. Uh, this is the setting uh, we we are going to do in the simulation. Uh, 
And then here, uh, I want to for, uh, I want to for emphasize that here is so uh, we are going to do two plus one D viscous hydro simulation, but it's not the right thing to do because actually, uh, actually uh, the 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 jet is essentially three D object. So jet energy in the momentum deposition should be done in 3D because it, it breaks the Bilken, uh, it, it, it breaks the, uh, it breaks the, uh, uh, the boost invariance of the medium profile. So uh, essentially uh, whenever we have um, energy momentum deposition from the jet, we need to run jet uh, hydro in 3D, but here, unfortunately, we uh, the three uh, D uh, simulation is time consuming. So, to just to save time, uh, here we use two dimensional uh, simulation. But anyway, uh, we are going to do two D hydro, but it's not realistic at all. So, but, uh, so if we want to do a very realistic simulation, you need to do three plus one dimensional uh, simulation. Okay. So, uh, any question here so far? Okay, so uh, this is uh, uh, this is what we are going to do with this uh, two-stage hydro simulation. So in the two-stage hydro simulation, first uh, we run hydro we run uh, hydro without uh, jet propagation. So first, just we let hydro evolve without any effect from the jet. This is the first stage hydro. And then by using the temperature profile and the flow profile generated by this first run, run and then, uh, then uh, we let uh, jet shower evolve using those profiles. So we have in medium jet evolution. And then if we find some jet particles which, which are softened enough to be absorbed in the medium, and then uh, we keep those information and then uh, we generate the salsa, uh, we generate the salsa by using a uh, causal liquefier. And then the salsa generated by the causal liquefier, we, we rerun the hydro uh, simulation with this salsa. So and in the end, we will see the evolution of the medium with, uh, with energy momentum distribution from the jet, okay. So we are going to see how medium evolve in the second stage uh, in this section. Okay. So uh, here, uh, I'd like to uh, emphasize that the initial condition for the first stage and second stage are used because uh, uh, because uh, the, 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 the energy loss of the uh, jet should be the same here. Okay, so and then I, I, I'd like to explain how, uh, what you need to do in XML to have this two-stage hydro future. Okay, so I'll, it's a bit complicated because you need to put uh, you need to put hydro twice in XML. So the 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 one you can see with the name music one is uh, the hydro for the first one, and then to have the second hydro, you need to have another another uh, input in the uh, for the XML. And then uh, most important uh, thing here is, so here you need to have this uh, tag, add liquefier, and you need to put the, the value is set to true here. And then the second hydro will run with the source term generated by the liquefier. So you need to put two hydros, and for the second hydro, you need to add liquefier true tag here. And also uh, you need to have liquefier uh, that is the module generating uh, hydro, uh, the source profile. So you need to put 
uh, liquefier uh, tag here, and also you need to put some uh, you need to put some uh, parameters used in the liquefier. And also you need to tell uh, you are going to use liquefier also in uh, also also in the in the parameter for uh, also also for the uh, energy loss part. So here uh, to uh, yeah you need to have a liquefier true also in the energy loss part. So uh, by doing this, actually, you can uh, you so by actually actually just by editing uh, XML user file, you can turn on the future of the liquefier. Okay. okay. So I think now we can actually run Gscape and we can see how uh, uh, medium fluid evolves with the energy momentum distribution from the jet. Okay, so let me switch to my... Uh, console and also I need to have... Uh, it should have console and also I need to show uh, the... Uh, materials we are going to use here. So, okay. okay. So, can you see uh, both my uh, terminal and then uh, web browser? Both you can find at the same time. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So, uh, so we have already uh, built. Uh, we have already compiled the Jetscape with music and ISS. So it's uh, actually we can run Jetscape with. Uh, we can run a two-stage hello uh, with just reading the XML. 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 Uh, turning on uh, the liquefier part. So you need to scroll down and then, so you find, uh, you can find the, uh, you can find the hydro medium response part. So, so the, the section number is five. And this is the instruction for, uh, instruction for the, uh, just keep run with two stage hydro. So first, please go to, Please first go to uh, build file, build folder first. Okay. So, and then uh, actually we've already added uh, XML file uh, in which uh, the two stage hydro is turned on that can be found in inside of the uh, folder of. Uh, July 29 Jets config. So the Jetscape user two stage high low this dot XML is the XML we are going to use. And please uh, please run Jetscape with this XML by doing uh, run Jetscape run Jetscape uh, summer school uh, July 29th yeah, Jet config uh, Jetscape user two stage high low dot XML. So please. Uh, run Jetscape with this XML. And then uh, Jetscape is going to run uh, with uh, two stage hydro. So you can see music one and music two. And in between these two hydros, uh, we are going to learn uh, energy loss modules and generate, uh, and we're going to generate source terms. So please uh, start running the Jetscape with this XML. And then we need to wait for a while. So once you have done, please let me know. So if, if you find uh, if you find uh, the Jetscape is uh, com com uh, the run of the Jetscape is completed, completed, please let me know.
here, literally we are running high low twice, so it can take time. So it's just keep running without any error. So if you have any error with this XML in just keep, uh, please let us know. Okay, mine is done, so.
that if you have completed the escape run, please let me know. So, so far, I don't see the change of the number of people completed the simulation. Can we continue or is there anybody who wants to have more time to finish the simulation? Oh, still the number is increased. Let me wait for another minute. Richard said yes, but I'm not quite sure in response to which question. Yeah, I think it's uh, uh, it's ten minutes ago, so <laughs> it's not. It should not be the one for this one. Anyway. Okay. Okay. Can we move forward? I think. Okay, so actually, uh, we have already uh, so uh, we have already run Jetscape with uh, this uh, media uh, energy momentum deposition from the jet. So uh, we would like to see how the medium evolution is modified by having this uh, energy momentum deposition from the jet. So uh, so to do that, uh, we're gonna use. Uh, Jupyter Notebook in the same way as we have done in the previous uh, session. So please go to first uh, the notebook folder of the Jet, Jet, uh, Jet hands-on session. So could you go to uh, July 29th Jet Notebooks and then please again open the Jupyter Notebook with no browser option. And then, yeah, please open the link by putting this address in your browser. And please click the, uh, the middle one, hide low movie medium response dot I Python notebook here. And then here, uh, what we are going to do is visualization of jet in this flow in Jetscape. So we are going to see uh, flow in the medium induced by uh, induced by the jets. Okay, so uh, please uh, do shift enter for first. Uh, cell and then uh, yeah this is just minus so this is just uh, settings uh, we are going to use in in the plots we will generate and then second cell is also just yeah it's just uh, uh, set up for the 
uh, plot. And then here, if you have uh, something different, uh, if you have a folder name different from build, uh, where you run Jetscape, you need to change this, uh, this portion. But if you are following exactly the same way as we, I have done in the section, you don't need to change anything. So just you need to type shift enter. And here, uh, what we are going to do is, yeah, uh, we are going to read a hydro plot file generated in first run and second run. First run means we do not have energy momentum deposition into the medium. And second run, we have the energy momentum deposition. So you can see jet induced medium flow in the second run. So I, yeah, you can see instruction. So in the first line, you can see we are going to load first hydro evolution data and it does not contain it in this flow. So this is from the first run. And then the second one is with jet in this flow because this run is done with Soulstorm. And what, why we, are, we need to do, uh, we need to load these two uh, hydro profile at the same time is so, uh, we are going to see jet in this flow as a perturbation on top of the hydro profile without the jet in this flow. So uh, we are going to uh, we are going to uh, we are we are, we are going to treat this first hydro as background, and we will subtract those energy and moment energy and temperature from the second run, and then we can see the effect induced by the jet propagation. So, so uh, that is why we need to read both hydro profiles from the uh, from the first one and second one. And first one will be the back one. Okay. So if you if you shift enter for the cell, and then you will see uh, some information uh, of the data like this. And then if you find uh, and then uh, if you do not uh, find any. Uh, if you do not have anything wrong in the data, uh, you should be able to see those uh, information without any error message. Okay. So uh, let's first see a uh, contour of the uh, in two-dimensional two space in transfer plane. So we are going to see the medium evolution in XY plane. Okay, so what we are going to see is default uh, distribution of temperature difference caused by jet propagation. So delta T, and which is the temperature profile of the uh, from from the second hydro minus temperature profile from the first hydro, and then uh, we are going to see the snapshot at uh, the proper time is equal to eight point two Fermi. Okay, so. Here uh, you you can see uh, uh, you can see the you you, you can see the uh, the contour, but uh, this is not the one you have generated. So to see the actual uh, to see the actual result, you need to do shift enter here. And oh, X is not here. What happened here? Uh, Oh, with x, y, x, y is not. Uh, not. I skip something. Yeah, x is here, so it should be fine. Yes. Right, I may have skipped the first one. So if you uh, if you shift enter for uh, for this cell, and then uh, you can see uh, you can see the uh, uh, you can see the uh, the temperature uh, difference distribution in transverse plane. And here, why you cannot see uh, uh, something similar to spherical 
uh, profile is because this is this is the pro, uh, the temperature profile after the subtraction. So this is temperature increase due to the medium uh, uh, due to the uh, jet energy momentum deposition. So, so uh, can you see uh, your result? So if you find your uh, own result on Jupyter notebook, please let me know. And usually uh, the uh, jet is propagating uh, faster than the uh, medium sound speed. So we can see the uh, conical shape like this and it can be, it can be considered as a shock wave induced by the jet. So V-shaped uh, flow uh, profile, you can, uh, you can see the V-shaped flow uh, wave front, you can see. Yeah, in the end of this sec uh, ha this hands-on session, we will generate uh, animation of uh, the jet induced flow. So uh, yeah, Abhijit has, uh, <laughs> Abhijit asked you guys to <laughs> post the animation file on slide. Okay, but anyway. Does anybody have some issue in the generation of the plot? Can we go next? Yeah, there are some, uh, there's at least one question on, uh, mm -hmm. uh, on Slack awaiting uh, an answer. I don't know if you have Slack in front of you or can, uh, here's a reply to it already. Yeah. So for real two-stage hydro, as you mentioned in the tutorial, we need to use uh, three plus one the viscous hydro like Vishnu. If it if that's true, how can we generate three plus one D hydro viscous hydro in Jetscape? Ah, yeah, I think the answer yeah, from uh, the expert yeah. is uh, Vishnu is two yeah. plus one. Uh, you can run music in three plus one. Yeah. So right in Jetscape, so uh, uh, music. Uh, can be used as a module, and then uh, music can handle three plus one dimensional uh, hydro evolution. So, yeah, uh, please use uh, three plus one D music for uh, for this type of simulation of two stage hydro. Yeah. Okay, so next I'd like to move on to uh, the contour. Uh, in the same way as above, but in tau et a, uh, tau x plane. Okay, click here and shift click here again. Okay, and you will see uh, a plot with uh, triangle dashed line here and uh, high temperature region right right below the. Uh, dashed line here and below that high temperature region you can see uh, you can see an area with low temperature region okay. so I would like to explain why you can see this type of structure so because now jet is propagating uh, jet is generated at the origin and propagating in x direction so and then uh, now you can see uh, the horizontal axis here is 
uh, uh, the time, so tau, and the vertical axis is x. So a jet is propagating on top of this dashed line. And because of the time duration of the jet energy moment of the position, so you can see a uh, hot temperature region uh, uh, right below this dashed line. And then you can see that this uh, modification happens inside of this uh, triangle region. It means everything happens in uh, light, uh, inside of the light cone. So you can see the causality is preserved in this simulation. And actually, uh, also, you can see low temperature lesion, which will, which, which is, uh, which, which you can see uh, here. The triangle, the behind the triangle, uh, uh, behind the conical sh uh, shock wave, you can see low temperature lesion here. That can be also be seen uh, here below the uh, below the uh, the high temperature region. Okay. So in this way, you, we can confirm that energy deposition is uh, done, uh, fo uh, done following the jet propagation, and also it should be done inside of the light cone. Okay. Yeah, here, uh, yeah, the, the, there is an instruction. So dashed line shows the border of the light cone. Okay. So as a final project, uh, we are going to generate a movie of the 2D contour we have, uh, we have generated at the beginning of this uh, section. So we shift enter and then please type shift enter for the last cell here. And then it may take time. Yeah, so uh, I don't know the reason, but the animation is, uh, is very slow, but you can see, uh, you can see the medium is evolving. So yeah, you can see, uh, you can see the evolution of the high temperature region colored by yellow here. And then this black arrow is showing the location of the jet center. So now, just center is here, and you can see the development of the uh, conical uh, shock wave here. And behind the behind the shock wave, you can see low temperature region here because jet pushes the medium. So behind uh, behind the uh, wave front, uh, we can see some low temperature region where the medium is pushing already. And at the end, actually, uh, this high low is uh, high the low uh, uh, experience the freeze out. So you can see uh, you can see the uh, shrink of the medium in the end. So in the end, we will see we will we, we will see we will not see anything. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, in um, in my environment, the movie did not play uh, properly, but yeah, but anyway, uh, I think the medium, uh, the, uh, the movie is generated properly. So uh, if you want to, if you want to check the animation, whether it works uh, properly or not. So actually the movie is, uh, movie is, uh, saved in the format of mp4 with this file name so if you want to see
actually you can check uh, the yes you can you, you should be able to find animation medium response.tmp4 and if you open it uh, you can find whether it open or not uh, i need to share the the other way back So let me share this. Yes. Okay. So let me show the movie. Yeah. Very smooth this time. Yeah. In the end, the hydro is hydro strong because uh, because of the freeze up. But at the beginning, you can see the development of the uh, mid jet induced flow. Okay. Okay, uh, either is fine. So in inside the notebook or uh, playing uh, the MP4. So could you could you find uh, if you find uh, the if you if if you check the uh, evolution of the jet in this flow in in your simulation, please let me know. And this should be this is the last uh, uh, last thing we have uh, we need to complete in this. Uh, hands-on section. If you do not see, if you do not see the movie uh, works in, in notebook, uh, yeah, you can open the MP4 and check whether your simulation has been done properly or not. So far, two people have shared their homework in, uh, mm -hmm. in the thread. Three, we oh, will get some more. Yeah, I found the I found that question uh, asking about uh, the why the medium with stats uh, disappears at uh, somewhere around ten fm. Yeah, this is because of the freeze up, right? Yeah, okay. I found uh, Andre's question, and then right, yeah, this is because the because of the freeze up. Yes. yes. Okay, there's still a little bit of time to ask more questions, but uh, I think while we wait for more questions and more people to post their uh, results, um, should thank uh, Amit, Yasuki, and everybody mm -hmm. who has helped uh, answering the questions for, uh, I think, a very interesting and uh, useful hands-on session. So thanks a lot. I think that was good. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, 
Well, there's still time to post your uh, your animations in the uh, thread started by Sean. So I think we've reached the end of the scheduled program. Um, I assume it's still uh, possible, uh, will still be possible later to get answers on Slack. Okay, here's the last uh, last question, uh, William. Where does the intermediate intermediary hydro profile live, RAM or disk? If on disk, can we choose where it will be stored? Yes, okay. if you're saying something, uh, you're muted. Sorry, so by default, uh, the uh, by default, hydro profile uh, is stored in your built directory, so on disk, and then after running the hydro, uh, after running the disk, of course, uh, it should be on disk, and then it's usually in uh, built directory by default. I think uh, I think it should be. Yeah, you can change the the place of the output, but I, I forgot it should it should be done inside uh, in XML of the JavaScript or inside of the music code. So I uh, can do you remember? <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can you can change it. It basically is where you run. Where your run JavaScript is executable, yes. Ah, thank you, thank you for the correction. Yeah, uh, the thing is, so here, uh, hydro profile is uh, so to get the final result for the analysis. Uh, actually, hydro profile is not uh, it is not to be used because we need to use, we need to have the information of the uh, headlines uh, uh, generated in the event. So. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we did not care much about the location of the hydro profile for for, for now. But uh, so yeah, you need to specify uh, by hacking uh, music's uh, uh, setup or something. Yeah. Okay. 
think we're probably going to start slowly using uh, losing our audience, but uh, I guess there's still time to ask more questions on in particular on Slack, where you may get an answer even after the session has ended. <laughs>